Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Now today's a little bit of a video vlog for you. I'm going to be potting on my tiny little Epiphyllum cactus seedlings that I sowed on in, it must have been May 2020. And these are a mixture of 13 different varieties of Epiphyllum. I've sectioned them all off. And I got these seeds from my wonderful friend John, who lives here in Ireland on the west coast in Nernock. And he very kindly and sent me 13 different types of his uh, Epiphyllum, many hybrids, seeds. And I sowed all the, the seeds. And I made a video when I sowed these seeds. So if you didn't see the original video when I sowed them, or you want to have a recap of that video, do check it out. I'll link that video up above and down below in the video uh, description. And uh, unfortunately what happened, when I actually sowed these, I actually wrote down all the labels of each one. There wasn't named, but there's, uh, but John had put lots of numbers on each one. So he, so I'd know which one was what. And unfortunately the ink I used has completely faded. So there's absolutely no, nothing at all on there. Even though I use permanent or supposed to be permanent marker pen, it's all gone. So. Obviously, I don't know which is which, but all I do know is that each compartment that I've sectioned off is a different type of epiphyllum. So I'm going to make sure when I pop these on, I keep all of them in the same sections. And what I'm going to be doing, they're still very, very small. They're too small to pot up sort of individually. So I'm going to be keep putting them up and put them into more trays and spreading them out so they've got more room to grow and then probably this time next year they'll then be big enough then to go into their own little individual trays and i've got some some more trays here i've got four more trays here <coughs> and i've also got the two trays here so i'm not sure how many i'm going to need but i'm going to be spreading them out so they've got more room to grow and those of you who know watch my channel will know i have a lot of different types of epiphytic cactus plants many epiphyllums and many ripsalis and uh, slumbergeras and the like and if you want to see a complete tour of my epiphytic cactus collection do check that out if you have an idea of what i've got links will also be up above and down below in the video description and i've also sown epiphytic cactus epiphyllum cactus seeds quite a few times in the past I'm going to show you my my other ones now now here I am in the polytunnel and these are my other epiphyllum cactus seedlings and I've got a mixture here of um, epiphyllum chi chi castanengo crossed with uh, Mrs G Bahim from my own plants when I cross pollinated them a few years ago be about four years ago now and these are the seeds I sown these seedlings are about three probably three and a half years old and as you can see they're much bigger we um, potted them out onto bigger seed trays which is what I'm going to be doing with the other ones and they've grown large so probably next year I'll be potting these up again into their own little individual pots and uh, here you can see where they've started to grow more like epiphyllum leaves more like the traditional looking epiphyllum they start off when you sow epiphyllum uh, cactus seeds they start off looking pretty much like normal cacti how they grow as you can see they're spiny and you wouldn't really know what they was as such and as they're more mature they take on the leaf that they're more familiar to be known by as the as the epiphyllum the leafy cacti as you can see there so interesting to see in these seed trays here as the as the seedlings have matured they've started to grow into their little leaves so cute so here we are with these anyway and I said these these were only May 2020 so they're about 14 15 months old now and I've got the seed trays I've made the soil mix up I use a different type of soil mix for epiphyllum than I would for desert type of cactus with desert cacti I'd use I'd use grit and I'd use lava rock and pumice and more loam and sand with the epiphytic cacti I'd use a bit more peat in fact I'd, I wouldn't use peat with the desert cacti at all but I use peat with the epiphyllums mixed with a bit of loam as well and perlite and a bit of sand as well and I sometimes use a little bit of orchid bark as well but because these seedlings are still quite young and they need to be kept more moist a drainage um, isn't such an issue because I need to keep them more moist than I would with the more mature epiphytic cactus plants so a bit of a mix there I've used and uh, now I'm going to be showing you potting them up now I've got a bit of soil at the bottom and because I have so many epiphyllum uh, seedlings it's going to be a very long video if I was to show you the whole pot in a process I'm just going to show you taking out some of them and um, partitioning and then uh, show you what they look like at the end obviously because it's going to be too much so I'm just putting a bit of soil in the seed tray here 
because otherwise it'd be way too long of a video. <laughs> That's the soil oil lined in there. And as I say, all these um, are partitioned off into the individual, whatever types they are. And first of all, I'm going to spread them across. So this is the little pot. This was actually the name or what it was that I say has faded. So I'm going to get the little partitions. I'm going to spread them across here. So to give them more room. There's not so many in this, um, this one here. So I'm just going to make it a little bit wider. And I'll show you just doing a couple of them and then show you what they look like at the end because I say it would be a very long video otherwise. So I'm going to be using this little spoon here just to lift the seedlings up. They're very young still, 15 months, um, 14, 15 months old. So I want to make sure I don't damage the roots. But with Epiphyllum seedlings, the same with a lot of Epiphytic cacti, they're different too. If these were desert cactus seedlings, I'd be waiting till the soil was practically dry before I'd pack, prick them up because it can damage them. But Epiphytic seedlings, the soil is a little bit damp in here, it should be okay to do this. So different method entirely than if it was um, desert types. And uh, there we go. And here. And it's very careful. So what I want to do here is spread these out. That's another, that's one that shouldn't be in there. It's a little succulent there that must have got in. So that's going to come out in its own little pot individually and then all I want to do with these is say they are very young so I'm just going to be spreading these out and then putting these in here so they've got more room to to grow makes such a difference because they've been sort of crampy in that little that little container there was in and gently press them down here. here. Just gently teasing these apart. And as I say, a little space in there. Tuck them down. Let's move the uh, stand back so you can see what I'm doing a bit better. Little cuties. Be very very careful when you're handling young seedlings obviously and try to do as little damage as possible to the root systems there and uh, that one's you remove any ones that are obviously dead obviously now that's the first uh, set of uh, epiphyllums there as you can see they've got more space now to to grow and as I say these are all different sections so this one is the next different type of epiphyllum here I'll just move the camera up so you can see this is the next section then that, that's the next section next next so I'm gonna then carry on now and um, show you what it looks like when it's all been done now that's the uh, the first three different varieties that I've took from this section here and spread them across onto this seed tray here. So as you can see, they've got a lot more space now to grow and uh, they just very gently press them into the, the new soil and it looks a bit of a mess at the moment, but over the next few weeks, they'll straighten themselves up and get much bigger. And then I'm left with these here from the first seed tray. So I'm gonna be putting on into another seed tray. And then I've just got this one left to do. And uh, what I'm gonna be doing, as I say, they're all in different sections sections as you can see I've sectioned them off so I don't get any of them mixed up and then because I've lost all the the numbers off the the names of the original ones I'm going to be using uh, putting these uh, little labels in afterwards on each section just number, numbering them one two three four as a bit of extra measure so I don't get any mixed up but I've sectioned them off anyway so it should be okay so now just to to do these now guess what I found guys when I was uh pricking out all these little seedlings there's another one here and this does not look like an epiphyte to me this looks like another type of cactus so i'm guessing that john 
it was one that got mixed up in John's seed. So I don't know what type of cactus this is, but I'm going to pop this up separately in its own little pot. And I don't think it's an epiphyte. It looks similar, but it's got much more of a different type of root system and it feels much of a more like a, a firmer cactus uh, deserty type than it does the epiphytes. As you can see, it looks very, very different. So this is going to have its own little pot. Extra special when you get something uh, mixed up in there that's not normally should be in there. Little surprise. Now that's them all transplanted and uh, I've put them across onto five trays. So they were all squashed into two trays before. And now I've been able to um, spread them all out over five trays so they have plenty of room to grow as you can see. And as I say I've kept the partitions in between each section so I know which one's which. I've given this one more space because there's more of them and the same with this one. And uh, each one is partitioned so I know which one um, has come from what batch of seeds. So uh, they're going to have plenty of space to grow there. Very, very exciting. And now I'm just left with this little uh, mystery one there. And it definitely feels like more of a uh, deserty type of cactus because I don't think it's an epiphyte because it just it's completely different as you can see there. So I say it's a seed that's coming from my friend John's when he sent the epiphyllum seed. So it's, it's so exciting to have a little mystery cactus growing here. And I'm going to be potting this up now. I'm using a different soil for this one. I've used uh, loam, L-O-A-M, mixed with some sharp sand and some pumice. And uh, as it's still a seedling in the seedling stage that um, I normally would add a lot more sort of grit to a normal, if it's a mature cactus. But in this case, I'm just using a little bit more of the loam and not as much as a gritty, gritty soil, but still grittier that I would normally use for the, that I've used for the epiphyte. So we're going to pot this little cutie up now. Here we go, guys. Little mystery cactus all potted up. What a little sweetie pie. And this one, obviously, it's still sort of more of a mature seedling. So I've just potted up. I'm going to probably won't water it for a few days. Let it settle in to its new pot. And I'm uh, going to be putting this in my grow room under the grow lights. And then all these um, epiphyllum seedlings here, I'm going to put back up into my grow room where there was in the first time under the grow lights, under the Mars Hydro grow light. And... Uh, keep them lightly moist. The soil I potted them up in is slightly moist anyway, but obviously because I have transplanted them, I'm going to be extremely careful with the watering, so I won't be giving these any more water now for about a week. But as I say, they're a little bit damp already, so they're okay. Then I'm going to just keep them uh, lightly moist after that, as they're still, still, more, still more seedling stage than they are, more like epiphyllums. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you want to know how to care for and grow epiphyllum, epiphytic cactus plants, check out a video I've made on how to care for and grow epiphyllum. Links will be up above and down below in the video description. And for lots more tips and tricks on how you can care for and grow cacti succulents, then please do subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click that notification bell so you can be up, so you can be notified when I upload new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram. Twitter and Facebook at Desert Plants of Avalon. And for more tips on how to care for and grow cactus and succulents, and also check my website out, desertplantsofavalon.com. I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of cactus power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video, bye.